Hello, my name is Rikin Kansa, aka Teacher Puffy. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to install SSL into your WordPress. So, what you have to do first, I was scrolling down websites and I found this website called uh, WP Beginner with a tutorial on how to add SSL and HTTPS in WordPress. So, as I was reading through, they explain more about HTTPS and SSL. So when you come here, you will know more. I'll paste the link down in the description of this video. So as you can see, they explain more of it and how what is done and how to get it and the requirements of it and the prices. Yeah, as you can get around fifty dollars to two hundred dollars yearly. You can get it from GoDaddy, Bluehost. A lot of hosts gives you uh, access to SSL as well, and a free one from Cloudflare. So we are going to have to set we are going to learn how to set up WordPress to use SSL and HTTPS. So first you visit your dashboard and you look for general settings. So I go to my dashboard, I look for settings and I click on general. So as it's loading, my internet is very slow today. You know, it's hard in Ghana. <laughs> to get a very fast internet to work with yeah so as you can see this is my open Ghana website and this is the URLs you can see here so you just have to add S to it S to it then you save it you understand after you save it it's gonna be https column forest slash forest slash www.opengana.com same here that makes you get this kind of uh, security as you can see HTTPS is running on my website as you can see we have HTTPS running what a secure securities uh, you know from Cloudflare there is a free HTTPS that I'm using uh -huh. so after you've done this you just have to go into the core files of the WordPress directory wherever you're hosting your file folder uh, on, on any hosting server I have to go to your core files, copy this uh, file into .ht access file. So this is how we're gonna do it. You open your file manager of where you're hosting the file. You look for into the core file that's open gonna into the in the core file. You just go to edit whatever panel you are using. You have an easy way to edit your uh, codes as well. So you go to edit. As you can see, there is already there. Please don't remove anything here. You just have to come down, go back to this page, click on this uh, pop up, copy all this. I'll come back to the same page and paste it here. So now, what you have to do here, you only have to change the URL. As you can see, it's what HTTPS. WW, so you have to change www.opengana.com so as you can see opengana.com after that you do what you save it after you save it everything is good to go you just have to go back to your WP uh, you have to add this code into your config.php file this one will force always whenever somebody visits the admin section will enforce restrictions force that SSL is what enforced this security is enforced before you can enter into uh, the back end of your WordPress so let's copy that I'll go back to my file manager look for the WP config go up there and that's Well, now shift down here. You see, you have to paste it here before that or stop editing. Please make sure you paste it here. So just below WP debug. So as I paste it there, I go here and I save it. Okay. So that is it. You are good to go. So now as you can see, everything is set. My SSL is set. Because I'm not having deep challenges, this is all that you have to do. 
to get SSL. Also, there is another alternative. If you don't want to pass through all this uh, coding, copying, changing here and there, there is only one thing you need to do. Look for this plugin called WordPress HTTPS, which I'm also using at the back end instead of doing all this, uh, you know, long journey thing. So you just have to go here. So yeah, as you can see, I have the plugin here. So you click on this plugin. You go in there. There's a lot of stuff there, which you can do. So as I was saying. There is one plugin that you would love to use, that's WP uh, HTTPS, the WordPress HTTPS. I've installed a plugin already, so I click on it. So I what? I force SSL. I force SSL for administrator. You can force exclusively any page that is not secured. You force SSL URL. Will be redirected to this you can do a lot of stuff here so but basically i normally use for the admin section because i don't need it at the front and because i'm not taking any inputs so i normally use it at the back end so secure my data that uh, i keep in the back end as well okay so thank you very much you have to uh if you really like this video don't forget to like and subscribe my channel teacher coffee thank you and thank you again